Hi, this is Rachel and Magali. We've arrived. What is up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you from the nicoya peninsula in costa rica and from a little area called punto cuchillo to be exact which is in the southeast and for the next few days we're going to be going on some amazing adventures and with we i mean magali and i because we are reunited again after 10 days apart and we're staying at this beautiful place called bahia rica and it is in the middle of the jungle right on the ocean so it's the ideal location to go exploring and we've got some fun activities planned so I'd love to take you along. So let me just give you a tour of this beautiful house that we will be staying in. It has three bedrooms, so it definitely has enough space for us to live in. So let me show you. Here we have Magali. Yay. Chilling in one of the colorful chairs. And through here we have the kitchen. Then this is my room. And I chose the smallest room because it is at the at the bottom of the house so I didn't have to carry my bag all the way upstairs but it has enough room because I have a double bed I have a single bed and then we go through here we have some living space nice hammocks there go up the stairs whoop, 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 whoop. and then we have I think the biggest room this one's Magali's also double bed and single bed really really nice and then I absolutely love this space because it has hammocks, but also has books, nice areas to chill. And then here we have the last room, which we will not be using, but again, a double bed and a single bed. We are going to be starting our adventures on the water, doing something actually pretty productive because the owners of this place, Vigdis and Thomas, they love the ocean. So they have made an initiative where you can actually rent the kayaks for free if you go out and help clean up the ocean. So we're going to go on each our own kayak and we're going to go pick out pick pieces of plastic and bring them back so they can be recycled instead of floating in the ocean. Well, if we go, here we have our scoop and we have our crates on the back of the kayaks. Magali catching up in the background there. We're going to be going towards this other beach area here and see what we can find along the shore. Hopefully we find some plastic to clean up, but on the other hand, it also feels a little bit double because of course you don't want plastic to be out here on the ocean. Uh, but if we can clean it up, that's great. Okay, Magali, were you able to find any plastic yet? Uh, only at the beach where we started. I found like something. It's playing with plastic and ah. it's like floating in the ocean. Ah, small little plastic thing. And small piece, but yeah. not in the ocean. Ah. Okay. Well, I found my first pieces of plastic. What's actually pretty sad to see is that, yes, they are also a big piece of plastic, but guys, there are so many little pieces of microplastic in this water right here. It's absolutely crazy how much it actually is. You first think it's just leaves, and then you start looking better, and you have so many little pieces of microplastic. Okay, so this is what I was able to pull out for now. We only did a little short kayak. Let's go have a look what Magali found. Also, lots of little pieces of plastic. Man, this is so sad, guys. One kilo. One kilo of trash? Yep. the death of my drone as I was trying, trying to make some footage of this lady I uh, am finally really on the paddleboard we're out here she saw an eagle ray which I think is crazy so we're just gonna enjoy well it is almost sunset time by the way it's almost sunset so we'll do some pedal boarding and enjoy the sun go down and hopefully see another eagle ray that would be so awesome we we're just talking about sharks weren't we yeah are you scared of them I was telling I, I would be more scared of a crocodile than a shark like why <laughs> I would love to see a shark I don't know. <laughs> 
so Magali would love to see a shark. Like I was just paddling here and I was like, wow, you know, I think that there might be sharks here. And she's like, well, I'm actually more worried if they're crocodiles because then I would think it's my last day. By the way, I would probably not be too happy if I saw either of them right now. Okay, so as we were standing still, there were just this like whole school of jumping little fish, like, tch, 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 like lots of them coming out of the water, going back in the water, and they came straight toward us. So I automatically asked Magali, is what is behind them? What is chasing them? So we're just gonna stand still for a while, see if we see anything. Oh, wow, and the birds have got fish as well. And he dropped it. Magali doing a new trick. She's literally <coughs> going backwards. <laughs> nice job, man. <laughs> we have made it back to our house after some nice kayaking and pedal boarding but as the sun is setting now it's time for us to get ready because we're going to be going on our next water trip we're just going to kayak through the bioluminescent algae or plankton which makes the sea look like it's got all these little blue stars in it life jacket and safety on we just got our instructions and we have got our life jackets on apparently the conditions are quite nice because it's getting very dark and there are no clouds so that will also give us a chance of a lot of stars so yeah i'm really excited to go and experience this nighttime kayak Okay guys, I would really, really love to show you the sky and the stars and all of that, but it is so dark that my phone is not able to record uh, any of it. Well, that was a lot of fun. We saw so many stars and a lot of the bioluminescent algae. I felt like a little kid in a candy store and Magali eventually said something about this because I was just whacking the water the whole time. But that was absolute, uh, like, oh, that was not a fart, guys. That was my leg on the on the bench. Um, I'll put my best pictures into this edit. Literally, it looks like shit, but you're going to see that we saw some of the blue reflection on the water. It was so nice. We are back in our cabin after such a lovely day and a really, really nice evening. After the bioluminescence tour, we had dinner with our host, Vegas and Thomas, which was so nice. The food was so good and we had a drink and we just chatted for quite a while. But Magali and I are both absolutely pooped because it has been such a long day. Uh, so we're going to get some sleep and then we're waking up early because tomorrow morning we're going to go on a snorkeling tour to Isla Tortuga, which apparently has beautiful Caribbean turquoise waters and all of that. So I'm really excited. First get some sleep and then we can go to tropical paradise. Costa Rican style coffee. It's, uh, not only the taste, it's also the smell. <laughs> and nothing can beat the early morning coffee. True. Although I agree. it's always a good time for coffee, but the early morning is special. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is super crazy because yesterday when we were here, there was a small beach. Then the tide came in and there was no beach and now it is just absolutely massive. So we're gonna get on the boat now and go snorkeling. So it's time to board. Uh, uh, there's a lot of birds here on this island here, mostly pelicans and frigate birds over here. So um, just, just chilling there. Waiting there for you know small sardines as the food they eat, the fish they eat, you know. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. oh my word, guys! Okay, so not only are we seeing spider monkeys, but some of the females are actually carrying babies on their stomachs and on their backs. This is so beautiful. Well guys, we made it to Isla Tortuga and there are so many fish around our boat. It's so cool to see. Although, I do get a little bit anxious when I'm all alone in the water. But luckily Magali has arrived as well. Looking good. <laughs> oh. So the nice thing about our boat tour compared to what I am seeing on the other side is you have these boats coming up with so many people in them and 
yeah, of course they're coming here to just to snorkel, but I think that we really get a nice personal experience by moving with the two of us on the boat because all the attention goes to us, we get explained everything that we want to know, so that's been absolutely lovely. <laughs> Well, we have arrived at the place where we will be having our lunch and our place to stay while we're on Isla Tortuga. It's so nice, a lot of the tours, they have uh, places, uh, you know, in the sun, whereas here we are nicely in the shade and we're going to be starting off with our lunch. Mummy, a part of our lunch has arrived and look how beautiful it is. We even got hibiscus flowers presented there and we've got a little salad. We go to coconut service. <laughs> nice. So we just got our lunch, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, we even have special dietary wishes because Magali is vegan and she is gluten intolerant. And they even provided for that. I mean, we got beautiful vegetables, skewers, we got salad, we got fruits, and they even made brownies for us later for with the coffee. So it just makes us feel quite special that everything, you know, is personalized to what we want. And um, yeah, enjoy the island to the best. <laughs> we have just finished our delicious lunch. I am completely filled up and round. Magali enjoying her coconuts. <laughs> We're gonna go enjoy the beach here, enjoy some of this beautiful water, enjoy the island a bit before we head back. Wow guys, the water is absolutely amazing. It is so warm here compared to where we were snorkeling. This has been such a lovely day to be out and about on the water again, be in the water and now to relax on the beach, enjoy the warm ocean and just chill out. It is absolutely a lovely. So yeah, if you're in the area, I would recommend come check it out. <laughs> there are also a lot of people selling like fresh coconuts and cocktails and stuff like that if that's what you're into. Then uh, yeah, you can come here, have a drink, chill out. Oh, it's just absolutely amazing. We are back on the boats. We're going to be leaving the island now. I got a beer to finish off our trip back. I think it's going to be about 20 minutes to get back to where we're staying at Bahia Rica. This was such a great day, guys. I really, really loved being on the water. <laughs> So we had an absolute amazing day on the water and we spent the whole afternoon in our cabin and now we've got a beautiful prepared meal. So we're sitting down with our host Victor and Thomas to enjoy this meal. It looks absolutely delicious. Psst, 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 psst. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> we are going to end our evening on a very happy note with some red wine here at the table in front of our house. I think we've had an absolutely beautiful experience here enjoying as well the water as the tropical jungle that is on land and we had such a lovely din dinner with our host this evening so now we're going to settle down for the evening and call it a night. I had an amazing adventure and I believe Magali did as well. Did you? Yes. <laughs> yeah we enjoyed our time here a lot so yeah we're going to have a little nightcap and then head off to bed. I'll see you guys on the next adventure. <laughs>